Back in 2013, a University of Oxford study predicted that a staggering 47% of US jobs could be eliminated by AI over the next 20 years. Ten years later, in 2023, it's safe to say that AI is taking over our jobs. A recent Goldman Sachs study reported that generative AI tools could impact up to 300 million full-time jobs across the world. And if that happens, it will result in a huge disruption of the job market. If we were to take a lesson from history, then one of the most extreme examples of people losing jobs due to technology was when agriculture became mechanized in the US. At the end of the 19th century, about half of all American workers were working in the primary sector. Today, their number is at 1% only. Sounds horrifying, right? Will AI wipe out all our jobs and industries as we know them today? In this video, we're taking you guys down on a journey that's filled with uncertainty and mystery. Join us as we count down the top 10 industries that are expected to fall in 2024, all because of artificial intelligence. At number 10, we've got the technology industry. Sounds counterproductive, right? AI is all about tech. So how's the tech industry in danger? Well, whether you like it or not, AI is actually much better than humans when it comes to tech-related jobs. We might think coding and computer programming are both in-demand skills, but that's about to change sooner than we'd expect. In the future, all we might see is ChatGPT and other AI tools programming and coding everything around us. Tech jobs like software developers, web developers, computer programmers, coders, and even data scientists could be replaced with AI technologies. That's because AI is much better than humans at crunching numbers with accuracy. In fact, some advanced technologies could even produce code faster than humans, which means work could be completed with much fewer employees. Instead of hiring a whole team of software developers, companies could simply rely on advanced technology and a handful of people who know how to work with it. Next up at number nine, we've got the media industry. It's not just about writing blogs and articles anymore. Even if you work in advertising or journalism, AI is out to get your job. We all know AI is able to read, write and understand text-based data in a very impressive way. In the future, we expect these generative AI technologies to only get better at analyzing and interpreting huge amounts of language-based data and information. The result? The media industry crippling into pieces. And get this, the media industry is already starting to experiment with AI-generated content. Tech news site CNET used an AI tool to write dozens of articles, and even BuzzFeed has used tech from the makers of ChatGPT to make quizzes and travel guides. So when AI can do the job quicker, why would anyone end up hiring humans anyway? Some might argue that a majority of work done by these content creators in the media industry can't just be automated. They might still need a few people to contribute their human judgment, but apart from that, it's safe to say that the media industry is about to change a lot in 2024. Moving on at number eight, there's the legal industry. Yep, yeah, that's right, even paralegals and legal assistants might be out of jobs next year. Do you remember the Goldman Sachs report that we were talking about earlier? Well, it also found that generative AI is likely to affect legal workers in the US. If you're wondering why, and that's because the number of jobs in legal services is already pretty small. And even before all these new fancy AI tools came to us, the legal industry was already using AI automation to make their jobs easier. Just like media roles, many jobs in the legal industry are all about consuming large amounts of information, summarizing what they learned, and then making it easily digestible through a legal brief. And you know how it takes you a really long time to read through a gigantic book full of legal terms? Well, it would only take a few minutes for generative AI. All these language-related roles are easily susceptible to automation, and AI could be taking over these industries before we know it. So, if you're working as a paralegal or legal assistant, you better watch it. AI is coming for your job and possibly the entire industry. After that, at number seven, we've got the education industry. While all of us have been worried about students using ChatGPT to cheat on their homework, Generative AI is out to get the entire education industry. That's right, 
If you work as a teacher, your job security probably isn't too great right now. ChatGPT can easily teach classes already. It has all the information, it can make anything sound simple enough for a school kid to understand, and considering the latest innovations, it can even communicate with students verbally. Checks all the boxes, right? Even though there might be some bugs and inaccuracies in terms of knowledge, there's no denying it's only a matter of time before that problem is gone too. We know AI is prone to spreading misinformation right now, but the developers are already working on that problem. If you train ChatGPT well enough, we might not have physical schools and colleges anymore. The world might just become a place where robots and technology teach our kids whatever they want to learn. Next up at number six, there's the manufacturing industry. Now there's no denying that the manufacturing industry plays a huge role in the global economy. They're the ones responsible for everything, from everyday consumer products like the device you're watching this video on, to large scale industrial machinery. But hey, it's also a sector that's gone through some significant changes over the years, all thanks to new technology. Between the years 2000 and 2010, the manufacturing industry in the US experienced a decline of a whopping 5.6 million factory jobs. And no, it wasn't because of international trade. It was actually all because of automation. And now in 2023, we're living in a world where automation is the new thing. AI-driven robotics are now taking over tasks like product assembly and packaging, and they're much more efficient than your typical factory worker. They're capable of assembling complex items like electronics, household appliances, and even electronics themselves. So what happens when robots start assembling things for us instead of actual people? Well, that's right. I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye to the manufacturing industry. Moving on, at number five, there's the world of graphic design. Gone are the days when companies would need humans to design logos, brochures, posters, websites, or anything at all. With generative AI tools like DALL-E, companies can generate images in seconds. All you need to do is give the AI tool the right prompt and it will come up with the perfect design for your company without any hassle. And with this new tech, the entire graphic design industry is about to face some serious challenges. After that, at number four, we have the accounting industry. Accounting might have been viewed as a stable profession, but even employees in this industry could be at risk now. Since intellectual labor is seriously threatened due to AI, the need to hire actual humans to manage your bookkeeping is disappearing as we speak. Technology might not have put everyone out of a job yet, but it does put some people out of a job. And unfortunately enough, one of them is accountants. When AI can do the job much quicker and efficiently, why hire an accountant who'll take a month to figure your books out? Time to say goodbye, folks. On that note, next up at number three, we've got the entire finance industry. Financial analysts, personal financial advisors, and any other jobs in finance that require dealing with large amounts of numerical data could be gone in the next year or so. You know why? Because AI can do it better, of course. AI can easily identify trends in the market, highlight what investments in your portfolio are doing better and worse, and communicate all that to you, all while making your morning coffee. And hey, it could even take things one step further and use a company's financial data to forecast a much better investment mix. Gone are the days when financial analysts would spend years learning their craft. With AI up against them, there's no way they could win. After that, at number two, we've got the fast food industry. From placing orders to making food and delivering it, self-service kiosks and mobile apps are already taking over the world. Customers can easily place their orders without talking to a waiter and restaurants can cater to personalized orders in a much easier way. And get this, even the way restaurants prepare your food would change in the future. Kitchen automation systems and robots can be used to flip burgers, assemble your order, and even clean around the whole place. If that happens, there's no way the fast food industry that employs millions of people could survive. And finally, at number one, we've got the customer service industry. At this point, you've probably already experienced calling or chatting with a company's robotic chatbot. With ChatGPT and other new tech, this trend is about to take over the customer service industry entirely. A 2022 study from Gartner predicted that by 2027, AI chatbots will be the main customer service channel for 25% of all companies across the world. And if that's right, 
we should forget about talking to real humans at all. We can just spend our lives interacting with robots and chatbots. And that's a wrap for this video. Which industry do you think will fall the quickest? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you head out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.